Hello, my name is Kishwani. This K E S H W A N I Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving GRE math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the revised general test. If you do not own this book already, purchase it immediately. You're going to need it. The problems that we are about to solve are the one that you're going to find on page number two hundred and 20 and today is our lesson number 86 lesson number 86 I'm just going to quickly go over what you see here on page 86 oh sorry on page number 220 page number 220 problem number 9 is what we are doing problem number 9c Problem number 9 involves a whole bunch of percentage problems and then of course problem 10, 11, 12 that deal with percentage problem and of course you see percentage problem all over the place on the GRE and I wanted to make sure that if there is anybody who was a little shaky on the concept of percentages and how to figure out a given percentage into an equivalent decimal or equivalent fraction and so forth for that reason I put together a very long video on day number 84 I hope you had a chance to watch it so for, the, for these five days, 84, 85, 86, 87, and 88, we'll do nothing but percentages. So if you are, if you are weak in that area, these five videos will hopefully will help you. Let's take a look at it. And here's a chart of uh, uh, the, the equivalent fractions and the decimals and, and the percentages and, 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 the, and the dictionary there. I'm not going to go over everything again because we've already done it twice. Uh, I, 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 of course, I discussed this thing at length on day 84. And then I briefly went over these two yesterday on day 85. Today is our day number 86. Let's get going. Enough of the talk. 9C. It says 0.6 of 800. 0 0.6. 0 0.6. Sorry. Point six percent of 800 is what? That's the question. 0.6 of 800 is what? Well, let's take a look at it. 0.6% We're going to translate it. We're going to translate it one word at a time using our dictionary here. 0.6% means per 100, out of 100. So 0.6 out of 100, 0 0.6 over 100. Of, as you know, means multiply, times. 0.6 percent of 800 is, is means equal, is, our word means equals, what, that's your unknown, x, that's it, you're done, it's very simple, but divide the top and bottom by 100, and it's just 0 0.6 times 8, and that's your answer, so x equals, well how much is 0 0.6 times 8, how the hell do I know, I do know what is 6 times 8 is, 6, 6 8 is so 48, 6 eighths are 48, but it's not 6, it's 0 0.6. Because it's 0 0.6, you have to move the decimal from here to here. It's 4.8. It is 4.8. It is 4.8. You see? Had it been 6, we had it been 6. Had it been 6, we would have had something like this. But it's not 6, it is 0.6. We have to move the decimal place to one spot. 8.4.8, that's your answer, 4.8. How do we verify this answer? How do we know if it's a correct answer? Well, let's do it very quickly. We know, we know that 6%, 6% 6 of 800, well, 1% of 800 is 8, therefore 6% of 800 must be 6 times 8, or 48. If 6% of 8, 48, 6, if 6 of 800 is 48, then 6 over 10 percent, which is what 0 0.6 means, 0 0.6 means 6 over 10, you take a tenth of that, 6 over 10, 6 over 10 percent of 800 must be, whatever this was, 48 divided by 10, or 4.8, voila. I shouldn't have put an equal sign here. That's it. That's your answer, 4.8. Let's look at, let's, let's take a look at the next one, number D. We're done with this one, I need to raise it.
B. This marker is dying. I don't know if you can tell or not. It is not. I don't know why it's dying. I just opened it. Bloody hell. I don't know these days. Oh, the next one. Next one says 15 is 30 percent of what? 15 15 is 30 percent of what? Uh, let's translate it again. Do it one word at a time. Don't try to read the whole thing, which is why people make mistakes. They make a mistake in setting up their equation because they want to gobble up the whole plate in one shot. That's not how one, one has a meal. One bite at a time, one word at a time. Fifteen is means equal. Is means equal. Thirty percent means over one hundred. Off means times. And what is your unknown? That's it, you're done. All you have to do is solve for x. So let's do it, shall we? Let's do it. I need the red marker so we can... Oh, there is my black marker and everything. Hiding underneath my book. I knew I had a decent black marker. Okay. Let's multiply both sides by 100 to get rid of... Oh, before that, let's, let's, let's get rid of this thing here. Let's multiply both sides by 10. So this 10 goes out with that 10. Let's divide both sides by 3. So this 3 goes out by this 3, with this 3. So there is your x right there. Your x equals, your x equals 10 times 15 over 3. Divide top and bottom by 3, and it is 50. How are we going to verify that that in fact is the correct answer? How do we verify it? Let's verify it. X is the answer here. So now the way the question, now the way the statement reads, I was about to say question, but this is no longer a question. Now the way the statement reads is 15 is 30% of 50. This is no longer a question, it's a statement. We found the answer, it's 50. What we what we're claiming is that 15 is 30% of 50, and we're going to verify that. What is 10% of 50? We know that 10%, 10% of 50 is one tenth of it, which is five. Well, if ten percent, if ten percent of fifty is five, then three times that amount must be three times this amount. In other words, ten times ten, three times ten percent is thirty percent, must be equal fifteen. Voila, which is what we, which is what we've been claiming. We've been claiming that fifteen, we've been claiming that fifteen is thirty percent of fifty. It's correct. Fifteen is thirty percent of fifty. Let's do the next one. E. We need the room again, so I need to raise this thing. I don't have to keep selling it, do I? And yet I do, every time. I do not know why. Don't ask me why. Okay? Pointing out... Pointing out the bloody obvious is what I do. That's what I'm good at. My wife will tell you. Number E. 11 is what percent of 55? 11 is what percent of 55? These are very simple questions. As we go along higher in the day, 87 and 88, as far as this part is concerned, we are done with this, uh, this question number 9. And as we go higher up in 87 and 88, tomorrow and day after tomorrow, I'm going to give you some more difficult questions, the kind of questions that you actually expect to see in the exam. This is too simple. This is too simple. This is not going to what you're going to find in the GRE. This is just for practice. 11 is means equal. What is your x? Percent means over 100. Off means times 55. That's it. Let's solve for x. Let's solve for x. Let's get rid of this 100 by multiplying both sides of the equation by 100. This side by 100 and this side by 100. That takes care of this 100. Let's divide both sides of the equation by 55. That takes care of this 55. So your x equals, your x equals this quantity right here. 
let's see what that is. X equals 100 times 11 over 55. That's what happens. How many 11s in 55? There are 5 11s in 55. Let's divide top and bottom by 5 again. Well, not again, I meant. First time we divided by 11. Let's divide the top and bottom by 5 now. And there are 25s in 100. So it turns out x equals 20. And now, now our statement reads, this is no longer a question now, now the statement reads, so what we're claiming is that, what, what we're claiming is that x equals 20. Let's verify that. Now it reads, 11 is, we replace this what part with our answer. That is, that is the what part. This is, this is what we were solving for. Our what, that was our x. We just solved it. 11 is, and we are saying that it is 20. 11 is 20% 20 of 55. That's what we are claiming. 11 is 20% of 55. Should we verify it? Let's verify it, shall we? 11 is 20% 20 of 55 because 11 is a fifth of 55. 11 is a fifth of 55. 11 over 55 equals 1 fifth. 11 is a fifth of 55 and we know we know from our first day of the percentage, 84, from this table, I asked you to memorize this thing, I, I, I told you that there, there should be nothing on this table that you would not know by heart. Everything here you should know by, by heart, it should be at your fingertips. One-fifth is 20%, 20% is one-fifth, there you go, so one-fifth is 20%. Which is what we've been claiming. So 11 is, because we know 11 is fifth of a, 11 is a fifth of a 55, therefore the answer is correct. X equals 20. 11 is a fifth of 55. 11 is a fifth of 55, which is saying, which is same as saying 11 is 20% of 55, because a fifth equals 20%. That's all. That's it, we're done. Let's see what we have for tomorrow. Day number 87. Ah, tomorrow is when we're going to do four problems which are not in the book. Bonus problem, if you will. I know, you always wanted them. This is your dream come true. Everybody wants bonus percentage GRE problem, trust me. And you're going to get four of them tomorrow, okay? I'll see you then. Bye.